Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use conditional formatting in Excel to highlight the rows for the current month. Okay, so I've got this worksheet of data, and it doesn't really matter what it is, but we have various dates for some financial entries. What I would like to do is use conditional formatting to automatically highlight any rows that are connected to the current month. And I want this to be automated so that every month it would change and always be the current rows as new data is put in. So I'm filming this. It's uh, October 16th, 2019, and there are a couple of entries in October. But I always, you never know, I want to be able to have this carry forward automatically. So what I'm going to do is apply some conditional formatting. Now I'm going to start off just by clicking on one of the cells next to the cell that I want to check. So basically I'm going to start, I'm going to check this, uh, what is it, A16, where I have October 11th, 2019. But I'm going to activate a cell next to it. I'm going to go to conditional formatting. I'm going to create a new rule. Now this rule is going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. So I'm going to use a formula here. Now I'm going to start off pretty simple and I'm actually going to not complete all of it just so we can see how it's going to work. So when I'm going to enter a formula in for this particular rule, conditional formatting rule, I'm going to start with an equal sign and basically I'm going to find out if the month of the cell in question, I'm just picking on this one cell right now, A16, is equal to the month of today. So I know this is tiny, but basically I'm checking to see if the month of today's month is equivalent to the month in cell A16. Now I know I'm going to have to fix this at some point, so I might as well do it here. You see how the 16 is made into an absolute reference? That's the row number. I'm going to get rid of that dollar sign, get rid of that absolute reference. It's certainly OK if the A, the column letter, is absolute, but ultimately each row is going to be relying on its own A, uh, cell A day. Um, so I can't have the row number be absolute. Now this is going to give me a little bit to where I want to be, but it's not completely done. Let me go ahead and choose a format. I'll change the fill of this cell to a light green. I'm going to click OK and click OK. And I can see that, all right, well, it seems like it's kind of, you know, it's certainly formatting this cell and it's doing it for this October date. So must be October. And it is. Let me head back into conditional formatting, manage rules. And I can see my rule right here. In case I didn't see it, I would have gone to this worksheet to make sure I can see all of them. I'm going to click it and I'm going to make another little tweak to this. I'm going to apply this not to just B16. I'm going to apply it to the entire range. And I'm going to click OK. And now we're starting to get, to get a, even closer to what I want. And you can see that all of my October entries are set. However, I don't want all of the October entries. I only want the October entries that match up with my current month, which means it also has to match up with my current year. So I'm going to head back to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. I'm in my this worksheet or you know if you can get it with current selection great but otherwise this worksheet here it is I need to edit this rule because it's not just the month matching the current month I also need the year to match the current year so I'm going to modify this formula in front of my month but after my equal sign I'm going to incorporate an and function and with an opening parentheses and then after what I have I'll type a comma, and now I'm going to do the year of A2, and I can go ahead and kind of make it similar with an absolute column and a relative row. The year of A2 needs to be equivalent to the year of today. And let's see, that's I've got my closing parentheses for that, and I need the closing parentheses for my and function. There we go. I think I've got the right number of parentheses now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'll leave everything else at the default. My applies to range is still A2 to D21, which is the full range of my data. I'm going to click OK. And here we go. Now only my October 2019 rows are highlighted. And I'm pretty sure that it's working. Here's one way we could find out. I could just go to any particular date 
and I could change it to an October date, October 2nd, 2019, and now that row gets highlighted. I'll do another one here. October 31st, 2019, and now that row gets highlighted. I'll go ahead and change it back to 5-5-2015, something older, and the highlighting goes away. So there it is. It's a pretty complicated rule in conditional formatting. Let me just go back to it again. Manage rules, and I'll type it a little bit bigger on the screen so it's easier to read. I'm going to edit my rule, and here it is. So I'm using an AND function to basically determine if the month of a cell is equal to the month of today and the year of the cell is equal to the year of today. I'll click OK out of that. And remember, it really made it much easier by starting in a cell adjacent to my check cell. And then I could start to expand the applies to range. So hope you find that helpful. Take care.